But <laughs> yeah, I know, especially on this show. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> I don't even need to ask you, Phil. Ed. Oh, Phil. damn. <laughs> well, we bully you all the time, Phil. So I'm, he, I'm, he looked at Phil, he's like, yeah, he just got victim written all over <laughs> him. <laughs> like, Did, but, but I've been uh, throughout <clears throat> my entire life. <clears throat> um, not so much in here. But I, I get it occasionally. We're working on from, it. From Phil. You know. <laughs> Phil likes to give it Look to me. Phil's I was going to say, Phil likes to give it to me. That's the shit like... out of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. He's I, trying I, to summon my his thing X-ray is, and or he Yes, fish. I was bullied all through, you know, growing up. Yeah. I, all through growing yeah, up. me too. Phil and I were bullied together, which was awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> oh, we, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we were bullied together at some point. So. <laughs> okay. See, True story. Yeah. I, I was the skinny white kid at Riverview Middle. Lies. Sorry. <laughs> at, River, at Riverview? Okay. At Riverview Middle. Okay. So I got bullied quite a bit. Okay. So we've all been bullied. Yeah. And I've, I've got a son. And it's mm-hmm. And he's getting, he's getting bullied. Oh, you know yeah. What? Yeah. Mine, now, mine, now, mine gets bullied. Now, the thing is, um, my son's been bullied this year particularly by this one little kid. Mm. He, I mean, he's literally like the size of a second grader. My son is like the size of a sixth grader. Mm. But I've taught him, don't mm. be a prick. Right. Don't beat up little kids. Don't don't hit anybody. Right. You can defend yourself, right. but you don't hit anybody. <clears throat> a because you know you can get kicked out of school. You can be suspended, but also because you are strong enough where you could like pick this kid up and like you know pull a Superman and just like rip him in two. See, so you, don't do that. You're a better parent than I am. Well, I try to be. I I, well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Have been like, we're, we're not comparing. Whoop parenting. his ass. My, well, just, stop <laughs> it. My second child uh, got so bullied so bad that when when he went on to middle school, mm-hmm. you know, not only is he getting bullied by all these kids and still, but also by the teacher. What now? It, it got to the point so bad that we pulled him from school. He's now homeschooled. What the hell? How is that happening? How does a pa- how does a teacher? Bully a student. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying I doubt you. I'm just saying, what the hell is going on with this person in their life where they think it's okay to bully they have a an student? Empty hole in their life. What? What? If you don't mind me asking, what were they doing to bully your child? Uh, what the kids were doing, I'm not entirely sure. The teacher was just, you know, down talking him. You know, oh. like if, if he wasn't doing something right, or no, here here was the one instant that pulled the trigger for us, and we pulled him. Is that he didn't do his homework. Okay, kids don't do their homework. So that's one thing. Okay, yeah. But in front of the entire class, he's like, okay, since Alex didn't do his homework, we're going to pull him from the class and move him to a, another class. That's one thing. Okay. Once she got him over to the other class, mm-hmm. she felt like it was important to tell that class that Alex here didn't do his homework, so he's going to be sitting in with you guys today. Wow, that that's, that's over where, the that, that's, yeah. that's what pulled the trigger for me. And the good thing in Illinois is you can homeschool your child, regardless if you want to. You don't got to go through no paperwork, okay. nothing. You you just tell the school, okay, we're we're homeschooling wow. our kid now, and go do it. Okay, just wow. So that's Dude, what we have I'm, done. I'm very sorry to hear that that happened that's... to to you and your and your child. That is that is deplorable. And completely unacceptable, and I'm sorry that you have have gone through that, or that your child has had to go through that. I really am. I know I gave you. I know I give everybody a rash of shit in here, but when it comes to your kids, that's some fucking bullshit right mm-hmm. there. Um, so it, the bullying got to be so bad with my son in particular, with with this other student. This other student has a has a brother who's in middle school. He's a sixth grader, and he grabbed my son and like threw him to the ground. Okay. Now, my son is autistic, very mm-hmm. high-functioning, but autistic. And so he has some social issues. Mm-hmm. You know, he doesn't really pick up on social cues. All right, but this little kid, this little shit, I was walking my son home, <clears throat> home because I've been, I've been trying to, you know, I get off work at 3 o'clock. I've been trying to race home. So I have the time, spend a little time with them, and also, you know, kind of be there just to confront anybody if they feel like, you know, fucking with my kid. Right. So I'm walking with uh, with Alex, and Alex peeked behind as we were walking away. This little shit was behind me, and this little kid flipped my son off. So you know what I did? I walked right up to him, just dead eyed, just dead eyed this little kid who I could I could probably like punt him like a football. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> and I just walked behind him and came the entire really all the way home. That's all I did. <laughs> just and I, I, I that's all I did. I stalked him. <laughs> he lives like eight houses away from me. Oh wow. Uh. And I followed him all the way up to his did front you do door. The two finger look. I did. I did. I did. 
I did the uh, the two fingers with turning to the one finger. Oh. Yes, yes, I did. Not the middle one. Oh. Um, but yeah, so I, I followed this little shit all the way home. He ran. I ran behind him as best as I could for as long as I could. But I followed him all the way home <clears throat> the entire time. I didn't say a word to him. His dad came. His dad comes to the door. I just waved at him like, "Hey, how you doing?" So did you talk to dad? Or? No. no, no. Just let him know you were watching. Oh yeah, just let him know ever that I'm ever I am ever watchful, ever vigilant. Yep. <laughs> and you know what? That kid. First off, his brother for throwing my kid to the ground got suspended for two weeks from school. Okay. Because I was yes. not going to let that shit stand. Yeah. No. No. Absolutely. Um, you don't get physical with a child, right? And ever. Mm. And that's why I didn't pick up this little shit and punt him into the creek. See, like again, I you're better than I. I try to be. Um, That's, I would because there's too many neighborhood kids around here looking to make ten bucks. It's interesting that yeah. the uh, <laughs> that your your son that this has happened to his name's Alex. Yeah, mine is Alex. Yeah, same same. And kid. the thing is, you don't. It, it's not a size thing. I mean, this little shit is a little shit. My son is like almost five feet tall at ten. So right. if I allow, if I granted him permission to, he could beat the shit out of this kid. He's taken Taekwondo. He knows how to defend himself. But the thing is, if he does, if he breaches that code of conduct and he places his hands on another human being, right. and that little shit goes to the principal, even if my son has been bullied, he's still going to get suspended. And I don't want that on his mark. I don't want that mark on his on his school record. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, I, I had a thought just then, and just, just when I had the thought, I'm like, well, psh, that, you know, that does no good because I've seen it go horribly wrong. Okay. And a lot of people say, well... You know, document everything. Mm -hmm. You know, jot everything down. Document all of these occurrences of bullying and and whatnot. But, you know, I've seen parents do that and have very little outcome. Very, you know, very Mm -hmm. little coming from the powers that be that are supposed to be able to educate and protect (coughs) our children, you know, while they're. Well, we're not just just trying to learn. Hmm? Well, we're not, we're not seeing, seeing it. it. Or yeah. it's being done off of school grounds. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of shit that happens. Mm-hmm. And so the school can't get... The, the thing is, the school has to also walk a very tight rope because parents are fucking litigious now. Yeah. You know, they will yeah. sue the shit out of you for no good reason mm-hmm. at all. And so if you suspend little shit who's been picking on, you know, your kid, mm-hmm. then, you know, the school's out all this money and stuff. And so they have to walk a very, a very tight, tight rope. So I get why some schools have certain incapabilities to deal with this because there's there's a legality behind it. I I believe in those incapabilities to a certain point. Okay. Okay. I believe that there's a lot of it where really it's just the buck being passed. Also true. Okay. That's and it's a lot easier for these schools to hide behind the liability of what could happen right. versus what should happen. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I know that there are certain things that the school can do and can't do, but what's sad is that the list of things that a school won't do trumps both those. That's true. Okay. Mm-hmm. And at, at what point, you know, <clears throat> what do you do? I mean, Phil, you, you felt as if you had to pull your kid from school. Mm-hmm. Okay, so at what point are are we as parents allowed to stand up and say, you know, that's we absolutely can't deal with this within the confines of a conducive and and, and productive learning environment? Help me, right? You know, that's mm-hmm. where do you go for help from that point? That's what sucks. Yeah, you, can, you don't. And luckily in Illinois, your only option is to pull your kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you're legal, legally able to do that. Uh, you're you're able to legally do that, but then there comes the whole debate of how much is the child learning, how good of an education can they possibly be getting by being homeschooled? Because oh, I've well, seen he, it because I've seen it go an, both ways. In our situation, we have an accredited online school that he attends, mm-hmm. uh, thirty dollars a month. Okay, you know, and, and he get, and we pick the sub, we get to pick the subjects for him and over all, all that, and I've seen what he goes through. I mean, it really is legit. He is learning stuff. Okay. You know. The the only question that I would have would be the, what are they, or I should say, the only issue that I would have would be the fact that they are not 
getting the social interaction. That's the only yeah. concern that I have. Yeah, yeah it's the social yeah. interaction. But then, but then again, but in I his mean, case, he was just being bullied by everybody. So right. you don't all want of, that social. All of right, all of the social That's interaction up to that point has been unhealthy. He's probably right. not in a hurry to have a whole lot more. Right. And I know when I was in school, and I was getting bullied. For real, I had at one point had just gotten to the place where I was just kind of like, you know what, fuck everybody. Like I, I have my friends, and then that's it. Like right. I don't want to mm-hmm. meet new people. I don't want to deal with new social situations. And a lot of people sit back and say, well, they'll grow out of that, or they'll grow beyond that, or so. I'm still that way. <laughs> still, I don't go anywhere. I don't really do anything. Right, And a lot of that has to do with anxiety and social situations. And right. that anxiety is, <laughs> is created and instilled within you very young age. Mm-hmm. Yes. At, at the age where you're impressionable, you're pretty much being molded. And, and then there it is. And that shit will last and last and last. And at, at a certain point, you won't know any other way. It will be like stepping outside of your own comfort zone. To even try to push, you know, to have what would be considered normal social interaction. You're right. And, and you know, my son has brought up multiple times, Dad, I want to be homeschooled, or Dad, send me to a different school. Because, mm. I mean, in, where I'm at in Florissant, there's like, I mean, within like a two-mile radius, there are three grade schools. Mm. So I could put in a request. The thing is, if he goes to a new school, he's still going to have the same problems. Yeah. You know, he has to learn how to deal with certain social situations. The heartbreaking part for me is that he doesn't make a lot of friends in school. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, really, actually, he doesn't have any friends outside that are you know that he sees outside of school. Right. And so I, I've had to do a very delicate balancing act, um, trying to figure out: Do I, you know, because he's he's in fourth, he's going to be what's that? Yep. Wow! Hi. I'm champion. Thank you. Bye. That's that's a comment on the blues right there, <laughs> apparently. It is my own opinion to say, fuck the blue balls. How many championships do they have? They can all get fucked by goats with their crusty, dirty goat dicks. Okay, so... So Kelly doesn't like the blues. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Oh, well... But my, my question becomes, you, you though, know, Do you know Kelly? Uh, yes, yes, I know Kelly. Okay. Yes. Kelly, uh, I'm going to say something She, she normally you. is not this this vocal on, on, on goats. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say something, Kelly, and I, I mean this... <laughs> I mean this in the nicest way possible, but um, you can go ahead and go fuck yourself. But I mean that in the nicest way possible when it comes to I'm talking about sports. Um, I know I went there. And I'm sure you're very nice. I promise. Um, But, yeah. That's kind of bullyish. Yeah, well, it it can be. It's kind of bullyish. Sorry. Anyway. I just had to throw that up there. (laughs) Thank you for that. Um, But, but again, you know, ultimately, it, it is a delicate balancing act trying to figure out what is best for your kid because... When they are specifically saying, I'm unhappy, I've just taken to the point where if there's a bullying situation at school, I'm going to tell the school. Right. I'm not going to document everything. I'm going to fucking call them, and I'm going to tell them every single time. They can look at the caller ID, see my number, and they, will, they won't go, thanks for calling Jana Elementary. They'll go, hey, Mr. Grass, because they know me, <laughs> right? And, and, and they know for sure who the hell my wife is, because she calls more than I do. But see, here and but here's the only catch twenty two to that though. Okay. Okay, so you are you are persistently calling, you know, to to try to quash this problem. If there is a significant it, issue. If it's somebody who just said something mean to and, him, that's kids and, being kids. And there and therein and lies a significant issue. Mm-hmm. What is significant to you mm-hmm. may not be or may be more so significant to your son. And then there's also the significance of the powers that be that are you know in charge of that, and they and and that's the problem. Mm-hmm. I'm that, sorry, the powers that, that be just don't care. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to throw that down as a blanket definition. I don't want to say that all schools and all school administrators, you know, teachers and 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 people of those entities. I don't want to say that they don't care. All you know, I had plenty of teachers that were that, awesome saw that you know what i was going through what friends of mine and people around me were going through and did their best to make not only the educational process try to go as you know smoothly as possible but to try to give those kids just a little glimmer of hope as to say hey yeah 
um, Big Bobby in the back who comes from a broken home and, and so on and so forth that's bullying you, yes, he sucks and, and his little entourage of cronies suck, but humanity itself doesn't necessarily suck and that you can find bright spots in it, okay? Yeah. Um, I've had plenty of teachers and, and, and literally that these teachers stood out. <laughs>